Sports Center here, Bellingham MMA. Uh, you know, just want to say thank you all for bearing with us in this time. You know, we all have to do our part to slow the spread of coronavirus. That said, we'll be doing these video tutorials uh, running through uh, for at least the next two weeks uh, the fundamentals of kickboxing. Uh, I hope that this will be a good resource for you guys to work out at home or with a friend. Uh, no more than 10 at a time is what we've been told. So that said, guys, let's get into it. So today's lesson is about striking mechanics, balance, and footwork. So we're starting at the beginning. And I know this is very much fundamentals, but it's the most important part of striking. If you can't get this, the rest of your striking does not matter. So this is a great opportunity to fix your bad habits, to get into it and really break down uh, your striking mechanics and clean everything up, okay? So guys, let's get into it. Uh, can we see my feet? Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and adopt a stance. So your basic stance should be roughly shoulder width apart. We're gonna take one step forward or backward. Okay, so our stance is left foot lead, orthodox, or right foot lead, southpaw. Which one you do is totally up to you. It's a comfort, it's your preference, it's whatever you feel most comfortable doing. There are reasons to go left foot lead as a right-hander, left foot lead as a southpaw, as a left-hander. If you are naturally southpaw, you're left-handed, with your left hand back or your right hand forward. It's really totally up to you. Um, you know, if you're starting out, I definitely pick one to predominantly play in, but if you want to switch all the time, that's totally fine, okay? Just make sure that you have decent footwork and at least one stance. So guys, all right, so our guard can be anywhere from our jawline to our eyebrows. I advocate for any new kickboxer to have a high tight guard, okay? It's the simplest guard to use because your hands are already kind of in place to cover. And even if you get totally surprised, there'll be your gloves in the way, so it adds a lot of blocking for you. From the side, it looks like this. My hands are up from my jawline to my eyebrows. It's really important that when we're throwing strikes, we'll get more into striking mechanics later, that my hands are not coming down. When they're coming back, they're not coming down to our chest or lower to our hip. My hands are coming right back to my face. When we're throwing strikes, coming right back to my face, okay? Really important. We'll get more into detail on that in a minute. Let's talk about footwork. The most important aspect of footwork is balance. There's many types of footwork, many styles, many options for you, but the simplest movement is the step movement. So I'm gonna step forward with whatever foot is in my front position. My rear foot just steps back to my stance. So if I step backward, my rear foot steps. Step left and left, right and right. Forward, backward, left and right. Forward, backward, left and right. My eyes are up looking forward, my hands are up. My chin is sliding down, tucked. I don't want to have this effect. My chin is up, presented for my opponent to hit. Okay? Step it forward, backward, left, and right. You notice I'm already pivoting. Generally, we pivot on our lead foot. Okay? Not always, but generally. So, I'm moving. This is our first drill. Just moving around in our stance. My hands are up the whole time. Pivoting. Don't have to pivot on 90 degrees. My feet only have to move a few inches at a time. We're usually gonna have small shuffles. Never wanna leave the, the mat for any length of time. You notice I have some little head movement going in here. We're not gonna talk about that in detail in this lesson, but if you know what I'm talking about, add it in. Especially you, Rory. Everything in good balance. I should never feel like I have to take an additional step. I take a step and I have to Take a secondary step to catch my balance. I've gone off balance. It's wrong. Okay, this is something you can do at home every day. You know, I'm going to the kitchen, eating ice cream in my bed. Whatever we're doing, we're in my good base, good footwork. I told him fried chicken, not ice cream. Oh, whatever, whatever is your, your favorite. Okay, really important. If you're holding mitts for your partner, don't get lazy and walk around holding mitts. You know, that's time you're working your footwork. Bum, holding mitts. Okay? Super important, guys. This is something we can all work on at home, regardless if we have a partner or not. 
Okay, next part of our lesson, we're working on striking mechanics. The first important, most important aspect of striking mechanics is your balance. Anything we're doing, if I end up off balance, I have to take a step to find my base, it's bad, okay? We don't want that. So, what we're doing is making sure that when we start, is all rotation, okay? We start with this drill, my feet are square. I'm just turning my hip and shoulder, look at my hip. My foot is pivoted, my heels come up, I'm on the ball of my foot, not on the toe. See the difference? Either my toe or the ball of my foot, okay? Turning my body one way, the other, my head stays forward. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they do not rotate their hips and shoulders with their strikes. They're throwing just arm punches, okay? Small muscle groups, like your arms are gonna burn out much faster than your legs. Your legs are designed for endurance. Use it. Endurance and power. Okay? So we go into our stance. Pivoting, once again, you can see, my hands are down just so you can see this, guys. My hip turned all the way through, but now it's a little different because it's in the rear side position. My hip and shoulder turned all the way through. Once again, it's different because this side is in the lead position. Pivoting one way or the other. You notice I'm staying inside my hips. My shoulders are right over my hips. Turning one way, turning the other. Eyes are forward. Lock eyes with yourself in the mirror. Okay? Really important. To the side. Pivoting one way, pivot the other. You get used to this feeling. My heels are turning. You don't always have to turn all the way 90 degrees on the heel, but when you're practicing this movement, that's where we should be at. My hands are down, you can see what my hips and shoulders are doing. From this side, turning the heel, dropping the weight. Next, weight transfer. I'm going to move my weight from one leg to the other. Okay, subtle. 60 40 at most on any side. I shouldn't be able to stand on one foot here. That means all my weight's on that leg, there's none on the other. Okay, this is always true. In my stance, Transfer weight from side to side. Okay, I still can't lift this leg off, even though my weight's on my lead leg. I can't lift my leg, I can't stand on one foot. Okay? Now we got our strikes. We're gonna throw just ones and twos, jabs and crosses. The jab being our lead straight punch, cross is our rear straight punch. Hands are coming back to my face. This is my elbows are staying down. Rotating through. Hips and shoulders rotating through with that. My head stays forward, my chin is down. My shoulders rotated up to protect my chin. You guys can all see that my chin is hidden now. Really important. Jabs and crosses. Rolling through, I'm not leaning way forward. So this foot, you can see my rear foot here is on my toe. It's touching the ground, but there's no weight on it. Okay, it means I've lost all the drive from my right leg. I should be driving that power through my legs and my hand. Boom, boom. Pushing off this foot, like I'm gonna, pushing off the starting block for a sprint. Okay, boom. My weight's in both legs. Okay. That's our basic striking mechanic. So shadow boxing, that's our big, our homework for today. If you have a partner, you can hold mitts. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second. Okay, if we're moving around, bringing us through. Okay, ones and twos being the primary goal. Of course, if you're a little more advanced, feel free to add any strikes you want. Always in balance. Get my partner in here to hold some mitts for me. Let's talk about mitt holding. Your partner is very old. <laughs> All right. Hey, my lovely assistant is 
is Laura Carter, co-owner of the gym. Bunny aficionado. <laughs> All right. Laura holds, she's gonna hold the center line. Then I'll move your feet in your hands. Right, so she's holding close to the center. So when I'm hitting, I'm aiming for her face, essentially, she's blocking. So she's working on her defense. We'll get more into defense in a subsequent video, but it's really important that we don't hold way out here, okay? We're gonna hold more center line. The hands come to the center as you hit. So she's gonna hold for the jab, a little kind of patty cake action in the punch as it comes, okay? That's on my shoulder, you're not traveling past my head. Your basic safety jab. Okay? I'm pulling it right away. I'm not leaving it in there and pulling it back. Okay, we call that posing. Because you're giving your opportunity for your opponent to hit you back when your guard's exposed. You're also uh, going to be removing the snap from your punch, okay? Good. We're moving around. In our stance, in our four. Okay, you hold for the cross. Jab. Jab. Cross. And a jab cross. Double oh boy. Jab cross. Okay. Okay. So your partner, make sure your partner is reaching really far out for your punches, okay? She wants to hold right in front of her face. So that's our homework for today. We're working the jab, the cross, jab cross, and our perfect footwork. Everything in super good balance. Good, pull it out. Come on, pull it out. <laughs> One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Is that the one? One, two. Is that the one, two? <laughs> one, two. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I know. One, two, let's go. Okay, one, two. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you get the idea guys. We'll see you on the mats.